ओके फ्रेंड्स हेलो एवरी वन नाउ विल बी गोइंग ऑन टू द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज चेंज ऑफ वेरिएबल्स ओके इन चेंज ऑफ वेरिएबल्स देर आर बेसिकली टू जनरल केसेस दैट वी नीड टू कीप इन माइंड वेरिएबल्स ओके सो बिफोर डूइंग दैट आई वुड लाइक यू टू रिविजिट द चैप्टर वेर वी हैव लर्न जेकोबियन जेकोबियन you must know how to find jacobian for uh, for this topic to be understood properly okay jacobian is nothing but determinant of like uh, dx with respect to dy or like whatever it is uh, du dx with respect to dv dy with respect to dv like this is like nothing but just revisit this jacobian thing and then come back to this module only after which you would be able to understand this topic okay now the first case that you need to understand is double, uh, of double integral so in double integral case we would be given x as a function of some other variable let's see u and v x would be given in terms of other variable u and v and uh, v would also be given as a function of u and v now you need to integrate this like sorry this is y now for integrating f of like in the any region f of x comma y dx dy how would you would do it is nothing but this like the region would be uh, now differ f of x is nothing but 5 comma y and you need to uh like over here jacobian would come determinant of jacobian like that is jacobian into du dy okay nothing but okay the thing that comes extra over here is the jacobian whatever the jacobian would be it would be multiplied over here okay so uh, in triple integral there is just a slight variation For example, x is a function of, uh, like, x is a function of u comma v comma w, okay, and y is a function of same something some function, and z is a, also a function of u comma v comma w. Then this whole integral, f of x comma y comma z, dx dy dz, would change to some. a uh, new function of u comma v comma w jacobian of this all terms and then du dv dw so nothing uh, just extra jacobian comes in the multiplication of this nothing extra okay so now we'll be moving on to some special cases that are very important the first special case that we would be learning is conversion from cartesian coordinate cartesian coordinate is nothing but our x comma y to polar coordinate polar coordinate is r comma theta okay so uh, we know that x is equal to r cos theta and y is nothing but r sin theta okay when we do the jacobian of this terms we get it as r what we need to do is del x comma y with respect to del of r comma theta when we do this we get uh, this so when, uh, while changing from x comma y plane that is cartesian plane to polar plane we get it as f of r comma theta just replace x with uh, x as r cos theta and y as r sin theta and then write r extra 1 r extra because it is of the jacobian and then dr d theta okay just this much nothing more extra you need to do you just you need to remember that what is the jacobian of this term it is r now well uh, there is another now uh, now we'll move on to another coordinate system that is cylindrical coordinate system cylindrical coordinate system is nothing but uh, how we divide slices like cylinder na the same way we divide it in this we have 
फाइव कोमा रो कोमा फाइव कोमा जेड मीन्स ओवर यू द सर्कल द रेडियस इज रो द एंगल दे मेड इज फाइव एंड द एक्स जेड कोऑर्डिनेट दैट इज द हाइट इज नथिंग बट जेड ओनली सो हाउ यू मस्ट इमेजिन अ पार्ट ऑफ सिलेंडर ओके पार्ट ऑफ सिलेंडर सॉरी फॉर माई बैड ड्रॉइंग मतलब समथिंग लाइक दिस ओके अ पार्ट ऑफ सिलेंडर दैट इज एट दैट इज एट डिस्टेंस रो ओके एंगल दे मेक इज फाइव and the height is z okay so while converting from rectangular coordinate to cylindrical coordinate you need to keep in mind that x is nothing but phi cos uh, rho cos phi y is nothing but rho sin phi and z is nothing but z only okay so while changing from this f of x comma y comma z dx dy dz to f of five comma a uh, row comma five comma z it is the jacobian of this term like would be row in this case would be row so uh, another extra row would come then d row d five and d z i'll explain you with an example of this question. But first, uh, let's move on to the third type, that is from rectangular to spherical. Where x equals to r sine theta cos phi, y is nothing but r sine theta sine phi, and z is nothing but r cos theta. okay how this all thing came uh, for this you need a uh, like a very deeper video uh, that is not possible right now as you are in short of time just remember this and use the jacobian jacobian of this term over here in this case would be r square sin theta so if in example it comes then directly use this shortcut like remember this value and use this so this conversion like f of this in a uh, spherical coordinate system it would be f of r theta and phi jacobian would be r square sin theta and then dr d theta d phi okay this is this is what i want to to say now we'll really move on to some examples that would make this topic clearer to you okay okay now i'll uh, make you solve this like example that we earlier did of cylinder now we'll solve the cylinder example using cylindrical coordinate system in cylindrical coordinate system what i'll do is i'll take a part of cylinder that has an angle of d phi okay its radius is dr or uh, and the height is dz okay so how will uh, like in this case my jacobian is r i have told you now in the case of uh if you are getting confused i have just used r as phi in this case in my notebook i have used r as phi okay and uh theta as phi so do, don't just get confused it is the same thing so r would be the jacobian in this case so i uh, uh, what would be limits of integration that is the more, um, most important thing what is the value of radius in this case it is moving from 0 to 2 okay so my uh, limits would be 0 to 2 theta is going a circular thing it's going circular around so it would be 0 to 2 pi okay and z would be z is the height so it is going from 0 to 8 okay so this integration is much more simpler than doing this integration just see uh, how in two steps our calculation is getting over okay now uh, i'll give you an example of spherical coordinate system spherical coordinate system first of all you need to understand what is r where is phi and where is theta okay so 
for hemisphere the theta would just vary from 0 to pi by 2 okay because we'll, uh, like we just move to from this to this like we are going just half revolution if it be having sphere it would go, uh, go from 0 to 2 pi for a sphere but for a hemisphere it is just going from 0 to pi by 2 okay and uh, phi square sine theta is the jacobian in this case it is nothing different so i'm just replacing the integration values like i'm just doing the integration and then getting the answer is 2 uh, two by 3 pi okay you need to understand where my uh, 5 and where my theta is over in this case theta is just going like half around and then whole my uh, hemisphere is being completed if it is a cone then the half angle that is 30 degrees that is pi by 6 and then the uh, theta would be going from 0 to pi by 6 nothing else would change Okay, uh, I think from this example it would be more clearer to you. Like with the value of theta changing, like the uh, x coordinate, the x over here changing. Okay, our answer varies, and like for x equals to forty-five degrees, that is only this much. X equals to ninety degrees, our hemisphere. See. <clears throat> and x equals to 180 degrees that is from 0 to 2 pi if our theta varies then it is a sphere okay then we get the answer we already know the, what is the volume of a sphere that is 4 by 3 pi r cube but how we derive it is using this formula okay i hope this is clear to you and thank you for this Please practice more and more questions on uh, this module. I will be sharing the notes at the end of this videos. So I hope this is clear to you. If uh, there is any kind of doubt, just share it in the comment section. I will try to solve it. Thank you.